This is a very real scenario where something could go south. You're in the middle of tying your boat off, the wind is really strong, kind of like it is right now, and then whoops, I let it go, and suddenly your boat is a hundred yards that way before you can catch up to it. All right, departing Rabbit Key, day two. Ooh, Jason's got his uh, mask out. Uh, uh, well, the coronavirus is pretty intense. Huh? No, no, I meant the, uh, the <laughs> diving mask. Uh -oh. oh, that mask, yeah. Water's pretty nice today, huh? Beautiful. So where are we heading? We're trying to go to that middle island over there. The middle island, what's the name of that one? Uh, that is Johnson Key. Johnson. And there's a raised platform apparently that we can sleep on tonight. The water out here is crazy shallow. This is the deepest spot so far, it looks like. And it's that deep. Right Three there. feet? Yeah. We are about as far out in the middle of this bay as you can get right now, as far away from civilization as you can get. And there's nothing around with the exception of a couple boats. That's where I came from, Rabbit Key. So that's about 30 minutes of paddling, 40 minutes of paddling. See a flats boat out there in the distance. My good friend Jake! Ready to go! Off from Rabbit Key and uh, we had a crosswind effectively and so we paddled basically perpendicular to the wind for probably an hour and a half or so and now we're um, kind of turning down to our destination which is Johnson Key right in front of us it's probably another 30-40 minutes out and we'll be there and we've got wind now to our back because we we uh, came across the wind far enough to get us a downwind approach. Nearly at the platform, we're pretty positive that's where we're headed. Uh, looks fairly obvious to us. However, the map did seem to say that it was on the actual key itself, so. But we'll check it out. Uh, we tied the boats off, and I was just thinking. This is a very real scenario where something could go south. You're in the middle of tying your boat off, the wind is really strong, kind of like it is right now, and then whoops, I let it go, and suddenly your boat is 100 yards that way before you can catch up to it. Um, and it might be floating quicker than you can swim. Yeah, most, almost certainly the wind will carry that board away much faster than I could swim through the water um, because the current actually is going in the opposite direction. So that could very well be a possibility, and then you'd be stuck on this. And then the other scenario is we've got these barnacles or these little crustaceans on the post. Yep. You see how there could be abrading that cable yep. or that paracord if we weren't careful. If we were spending the night, we'll pull we them up. Might be spending the night. We haven't decided yet if we're just going to go for we'll it or not. We'll pull them up on this. Uh, yeah, and platform. tie them down. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see. But a uh, little break time. All right, so I think we've got our our plan figured out. We're gonna eat some lunch here, and then we're gonna set sail. Um, we're at Johnson Key right now at the at a little the tower here on the platform, just to the left side of Johnson Key, which is that right there. That's Johnson Key. And what we can see in the distance on the left is Clive Key. That's the big one here, closest to us. And just to the right of it is Catfish Key. Boom. The small one right there in the middle. And just to the right of that, you can see a white splotch of something. Probably some buildings or something like that. And that's where our final destination is. And I think if we, if we head for, towards the right side of Catfish Key, going um, with the wind kind of at our side, just a bit. Once we get to Catfish Key, we can let the wind pretty much push us straight into shore. And that's about eight nautical miles. It's pretty amazing visibility. Yeah. Woo! Home stretch, baby! Yeah, got it. 
We're, we're covering tons of ground with the wind behind us. We're, it's within reach now. All right, so we made it to this this next little uh, um, key here, which is Catfish Key. So we are currently, I believe, right here. Yes, Catfish Key. And from here, right behind us, so if we turn the map correctly, from Catfish Key, we can see the tower. It says Micro Tower, and the tower is right there. And just to the left of that is where we want to head in because there's a canal right there and that's what and we a pickup spot and a pickup location One hundred thousand right side strokes today think that's what it was give or take and three on the left <laughs> <laughs> and boy were those nice so this is the Flamingo Marina. It's part of the Everglades National Park. Oh, look at that osprey. Wow. Awesome. So how did you make that out in the bush? I milked a mangrove tree. Nice. So I've never actually tested one of these life jackets out before. Um, this is a manually operated inflatable life jacket. And uh, I just kind of wanted to see how easy it is to operate if you were to fall in. It's good to know these things ahead of time, right? After we've done the trip? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, after, after you've paddled across the middle of the very wet desert. You want to test these things out? Ready? Ready to go. Oh, ho, ho. and then you just give it one of those. Easy. And it's as easy as that. How easy was that? That was pretty amazingly easy. Anyway, it was a great adventure. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. And remember, hit that thumbs up. <laughs>